Hi guys, it's Miss M and I'm coming to you live with another video lesson. All this week we're going to be reviewing our multiplication strategies and division strategies. So today we're starting off with area model. Now you're going to be taking notes along with me and as I explain and try to jog your memory about exactly how to solve these types of problems. So today is all about area model. So I'll give you a second to copy down 5 times 25. That is the first step. Now remember, area model is our box type of method. This is where we have all the boxes, our window method, all of those things, and this is what we're using. So after that, you're gonna take your pencil, I'm gonna use my marker, and you're gonna make a rectangle, okay? I'm gonna put this five on the width side, and I'm gonna put a little multiplication symbol up there because we are multiplying. I'm gonna look, well, 20, and five makes 25, so it's the ones in the tens place. So I'm gonna take this rectangle and split it down the middle. And I'm gonna represent 25 as 20, excuse that, and five, because 20 and five makes the 25. Now your next step is to start multiplying. Now you can start multiplying by five times five if you want, or start by 20 times five, whichever method, way you wanna go. That's perfectly fine. I'm gonna start off with 20 times five. Well, gee, that's a big number, so you can go ahead and write it off to the side if you want. This is a multi-digit by single-digit multiplication, which we know. Zero times five is zero, five times two is 10. So five times 20 is 100. Now I'm gonna do five times five, which I know automatically is 25. This is step one, is to start multiplying and get to this point. Step two is you're gonna add 125 together. Now 125 together I can do on my head and I'm going to get an answer of 125. So really five times 25 is gonna give me an answer of 125. Now this is double digit by single digit multiplication. Remember this, we can go into the hundreds and the thousands place to do area model. And we're gonna go into our window method by double digit by double digit. So I'm gonna erase now and I'm gonna try a new problem. Let's see. I'm going to write down, hmm, let's give us a challenge kind of. Let's do six times 472. Okay, remember, area model is a box method, so you're gonna make a box, make a rectangle, and you're gonna make it as big as you need to. Look at your place values. You know this is in the hundreds, so I'm gonna be dividing this box into three parts. Makes sense. I'm gonna stick my multiplication symbol up there, I'm gonna drag this six to here, and I'm gonna actually <coughs> expand out 472. So it's gonna say 400 up here, 70 and two. Now exactly as we started, you're going to start multiplying. You can multiply any which way. If it's easier for you to go to the ones place and multiply the ones place, then you do so. So six times two is 12. <laughs> well, I know that six times seven is 42, and there's gonna be a zero at the end because six times zero is zero. But just to be sure, I'm gonna multiply it over here. Because I think I have an idea that it's gonna be 420, but I wanna make sure. Okay, so I go up the ones, six times zero is zero. I go across the tens, seven times six is 42. So my guess was correct. 70 times six is 420. And now I have 400 times six. So I know in my head what six times four is, and I know I have a couple of zeros I can add to it, but just to be on the safe side, I wanna make sure. This is the part where you really need to make sure, guys, that your math is correct. If you are thinking that six times four is uh, 330, you know, you, this is where you gotta really know your multiplication numbers and your facts. So six times zero is zero. I'm gonna go across to this 10. Six times 10 is zero, which is zero. And six times four, I'm going across. Remember, you go up the ones, then across to the tens, and then across to the hundreds. You go as far as you can. 
So six times four, well, that's 24. Okay, so I get 2,400, which makes sense. Now, all you're gonna do now is you're gonna take these numbers that are inside the box, the 2,400, the 420, and the 12, and you're gonna add them all together. Now, I'm not expecting you to do this in your head, so go ahead, you can write them all down. Okay, so zero plus zero plus two is gonna give me two. Zero plus two plus one is gonna give me three. Four plus four is eight. There is invisible zeros. So zero plus zero plus two is gonna give me two. So six times 472 is gonna give me a product of 2,832. Okay, so this is double, this is area model with multi-digit times one digit. Now, if I went into the thousands, all you would do is extend out your box to four place values and stretch out and expand that number that you're gonna be talking about, okay? So let's just try one of those before we get into the big window method. All righty, so let's see. Let's do, let's do three times 4,000, 752. Okay, so go ahead, give you a second to copy this down. You're gonna make a big rectangle. Make sure it's big enough and long enough for you to be able to fill things in. Now there's, it's a thousands, so it has four place values. You're gonna split your big rectangle into four parts. Doesn't need to be perfect, doesn't need to be equal, just big enough for you to be able to do your math in. The three I'm gonna bring, bring down over here. I'm gonna keep doing my little multiplication symbol up at the top to keep me remembering that this is multiplying. And I'm gonna stretch out 4,752. So it's gonna be 4,752. Now you guys get to solve. Start any way that you want. I'm gonna start over here with the two, so three times two is six. Okay, one second. Three times 50, well I know three times five is 15 and I have this zero that you know I'm gonna need to add to it. So you're gonna take your time and you're gonna make sure that you are doing the math correctly. I don't want you guessing entirely in your head so go up the ones and go across. Yeah, so 50 times three is 150. Okay, now I have 700 times three, same thing. Don't be doing this in your head if you are not 100%. Go up, across, and across. So that's gonna be zero, zero, 2100. And now I have 4,000 times three. Go up, across, across, and across until you can't go anymore. That's gonna be a zero, zero, zero. That's gonna be 12. So I got 12,000, okay? Now all you do is now you take all of these numbers, just like we've been doing, and we're gonna add them. So we have 12,000 plus 2,100, plus 150, plus three. Okay, let me make sure that's nice and even. That's gonna be a three, five, two. All right, so three times 4,752 is going to give me, oh, I made a mistake. Ooh, gotta make sure you're doing your math carefully. You see where I made my mistake? I said three times two is three when I meant to put six. So I'm gonna make my correction right there. Make sure you do your math correctly. So three times 4,752 is going to give me a product of 14,256. All right. I know it mean, seemed like a lot of steps, but you guys did really well. I remember when we were practicing this the first time in the classroom. 
So now what we're going to do is we are going to move away from the multi-digit times one-digit multiplication problems, and we're going to start doing some double-digit by double-digit multiplication problems. So I'm going to put 13 times 56. All right. This is where our window method is going to come in handy. Remember when it, we made our box that looked like a window? Well, this is where it's going to come back. So go ahead, you're gonna extend it. You're not gonna make it as wide. You're gonna make it a little, I mean, as long, you're gonna make it a little bit wider. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna split your box into fours. Why, you ask? Because, well, we have double digit by double digit. We no longer have any numbers that are just 4,382 times six. Okay, we are now in the realm of where we have two numbers that are double digits in the ones in the tens place that we have to solve for. Okay, so now it doesn't matter where you decide. If you want to put expand 13 up here and put 56 here or put 13 here and 30 and 56 here, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's still going to give you the same number. So I'm going to put 50 here and 6. I'm going to um, expand them out. And then I'm going to put 10 and 3 here now, okay? I'm going to always put my little multiplication symbol up here. And now I get started. Well, 10 times 6. I'm going to start easy. I'll do 10 times 6. 10 times 6 I know is already 60. All right? Now I'm doing 10 times 50. Now with 10 times 50... I know for a fact that one times five is gonna be five. And I have two zeros that I know I'm gonna be adding. Now, just to be sure, this is where your double digit multiplication comes in handy, okay? Remember, double digit, you go up the ones, then across to the tens, so that'll be a zero. You put your placeholder down, you go to the tens now, go across to the ones, and then you go up the tens and you add them all together and you're gonna get 500, okay? We're gonna review that a little bit later, but just remember, you start in the ones place, go up the ones, then you go across to the tens. Your biggest part is putting this placeholder right here, okay? Then you go move to the ten spot, you go up and across to the ones, then you go up to the tens. But if you don't remember, which is okay, or if you are still struggling, a little trick you can do is you know that one, this one, and this five multiplied together is going to give you five, and you have two zeros left over you can add. Okay, so now I'm going to do three times six, which I know is 18, and now I have three times 50, which I think I have an idea of what the answer is, but like as always, I'm just going to double check. Go up the ones, three times zero is zero, then I'm gonna go across to the tens. Three times five is 150, it's 15, but altogether it's 150. Once you have the whole window panel filled, okay, now you get to add all four parts together. So you're gonna add 500 plus 150 plus 60 plus 18. Now, yes, you could do them one by one and add them all together. Yes, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm just doing it all together. So zero plus zero plus zero plus eight is going to give me eight. Well, zero plus five, that's five. Five plus six is 11 plus one is two, which is 12. And I'm going to carry that one up here. <coughs> And then I have five plus one is six plus another one is seven. So the product of 13 times 56 via our area model is gonna be 728. All right, so go ahead, rewatch this video. If you need to rewatch the video to remember exactly how to do these methods and now give it a chance, give it your own shot on that practice problems. All right, guys, this was how to remember and redo area model. I'll be back to you tomorrow with another video. Have a good one. Bye, guys.